Hey, all my YouTube crafters, this is Star with HS Designs now, and today I wanted to show you how I freeform wrap uh, large beads that do have holes. Uh, top and bottom. These just happen to be heart-shaped uh, beans. And I want to say these are Howlites, and the colored ones are probably just colored, you know, Howlite. Makes me think of Howlite because of, how, because of how this one looks. So you see how these turned out? Just pretty simple, free form. Uh, and we're going to try this one today. You can either use an 18 gauge or 20 gauge. For this one, I'm going to use an 18 gauge, so I'm going to set my 20 gauge aside. You could probably use other um, gauges of wire as well, but I would say stick to no less than 20, you know, just because that way it has uh, good structural integrity for the wire. You're probably only going to need two tools, your cutters and a pair of pliers of some type. All right, so we're going to kind of move those off to the side, put that up there. For your wire, there's really no set definition of how much wire you need. We're only going to use one single long piece of wire, okay? Um, so you don't need two pieces. You just need one long piece, and I would say probably a good three feet or four feet maybe even. Um, just get a long piece, whatever you think uh, would be enough for you know about what you want to do something like that you do not necessarily have to have it straight but I do try to straighten it out a little bit at least it makes it easier to put the wire through now with these beads that I have the hole is exactly big enough for this 18 gauge so it's a one millimeter hole and 18 gauges one millimeter there you go <laughs> I get my bead about halfway through Actually, just a smidge over halfway. Sorry, I was off camera there. Uh, just a smidge over halfway because I'm going to bend this end to come up and go with this end to make the bale. Okay? And you see that I've got two different kinds of bales. I've got a twisted wire on this one. And then this one is just a straight one piece, you know. Uh, so we're going to take it. You're going to sharp bend. Sharp, sharp, sharp bend. This is going to be a fairly quick video. So with this, see now, you've got this. You can bend that one over this way, and then you can twist. Ooh, once, sorry, I, was, I had to go off camera for a second there. And then twist a second really good time. That makes the neck, okay? Push them together. You can either leave them straight like I'm doing, or you can twist them together like this one. That's up to you. Uh, for this part, you can use... Uh, bell making pliers if you want or round nose pliers if you want or you can do like I am and just kind of make your own <laughs> by hand okay then you want to wrap it at least once and then where the wires will be coming out on the back side and you see it's kind of a little wonky right there we'll fix that here in a minute okay I'm gonna bring this down keeping my wires parallel with each other and I'm gonna bend it up and this is where you could do pretty much whatever you want to do I gotta move this there we go I'm gonna put a little swirly bit kind of tighten that down a little bit okay I'm gonna bend I'm trying to make a, my bends really nice and tight and I'm knocking all kinds of stuff in the way <laughs> with this wire and then I'm going to come up. I'm going to do another one. How about here? Okay. Anytime you do uh, swirls when you have more than one piece of wire, you always want to hold it really good and tight against your stone. And I'm going to come across one last time. And I'm going to do... A small one right here hope that it will stay and my wires are starting to crisscross a little bit okay and now I'm just gonna take my wires keep them where I want them 
And now I'm going to take my pliers for a moment. Try to get this straightened up how I want it, where I want it. There we go. See, that looks much better for that bale. And I'm just going to wrap it around until I feel comfortable, until I feel like it's good, and which is right here. <laughs> take your pliers, cut that off, and then you're going to tuck these ends in. And I admit, this is kind of all based off of what someone else does as well. So I'm not trying to steal their thunder. I'm not trying to do what they do. This is just what I'm doing on this one. I'm gonna come down on that one. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Now, one thing that you can do is you can bring this in and you can tighten that up by zigzagging that. That also does that. And I think that actually looks pretty cute. I like that. I'm going to come in about right here. Do that. I like that. And that looks pretty good to me. I like that. What do you think? Pretty neat uh, little way of wire wrapping a stone, especially a large stone, that you don't necessarily want to do a whole big hour long, you know, weaving and stuff. But it still turns out really pretty. Okay, so it's a really simple way of decorating a stone. Pretty nice, I would say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Click it down right here. And if you have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, please leave those down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Even if all you want to say is hi, I will say hi to you. Um, and... Real quick, for any of my subscribers, which I know I don't have a lot, but if you've been missing me, I'm so sorry. I've My life has been crazy here lately. I'm doing my best to keep up with my channel, and yeah. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you. Mm -hmm.